No one prepares you for the loneliness that you feel in your 20s. I'm currently sitting alone in my apartment. It is one in the morning. I'm drinking water out of a wine glass because it's the only thing I have clean. And all of my friends are either with their boyfriends, with their husbands, with someone. And I feel like the odd one out because I don't have anyone. I have myself and my dog. And don't get me wrong, I love being alone, but I just feel like people at this age are really selfish and you lose a lot of friends in the chaos of being in different phases of life. And it sucks. And honestly, I just feel forgotten about and pushed to the side. Welcome to your 20s. Why is she the only one out of all of her friends who is alone and single? I wonder what it could be. Probably because of all those wasted nights eating pizza and ice cream instead of trying to find a boyfriend. I don't understand how she can say she likes being alone and then make a video crying about being alone. It doesn't make any sense. Any fucking sense. Have you ever been in that in-between state? Where you're kind of glad that you met them. And then there's a part of you that kind of wishes you never did. That's where I'm at right now. Nobody cares. Okay, I'm gonna try not to cry. This is something that I need to hear, so I'm thinking others need to hear it as well. You deserve somebody that wakes up every single day and doesn't question whether or, then, whether or not they want to be with you. You deserve somebody that views your flaws as perfection. You deserve somebody who doesn't try to change you, but loves you for who you are. You deserve someone who doesn't judge you for your past, but is excited to be a part of your future. You deserve someone who is absolutely terrified of losing you and cries even just thinking about it. And I so badly hope that everybody can find that one day, because I think everybody deserves to feel loved once in their life. And I love you guys, and I hope you guys all know that you deserve the world. I'm sorry if anybody has ever made you feel like you're not enough, but you are enough, and you're worth it, and I love you. You are not enough for Chad and Tyrone. That we can be sure of, since you keep chasing after the six foot, six figure, and six pack men who want to pump and dump. Telling yourself you are enough is not going to make you enough. She said she shouldn't be judged for her past, well, if that is not an indicator of being ran through, I don't know what is. No, neither do I. Just so you know, someday you're going to be someone's best thing, someone's favorite thing, and that someone would never do anything to intentionally hurt you. They would never put themselves in a position to lose you because they know how special you are. They know your worth. They celebrate you. They see you for all that you are. You're gonna be someone's best thing. Truth be told, she will be somebody's best thing someday. She's telling the truth. The person who will see her as the best thing will be a cat adopted from the runaway shelter. You got that right. Woo!